Hey there pretty people and welcome back to Such Pretty. Today I'm going to show you how to do this summer inspired warm look which was requested by one of the commenters on the last YouTube video. If you have any requests for tutorials, don't ever be afraid to ask. You can go through my Instagram and find pictures that you like and request for tutorials. You can just give me a theme or an idea. I'm always looking for new ideas and what to film. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start by taping my eyes. I'm going to tape the edges here for the wing. My general tip for taping is to line your tape up right underneath your lower lash line. Then I feel to see if they're even. If they're not, I will reset one. I'm using a small pencil brush to go in with the first color, which is going to be Dolly Pop by Sugar Pill. I'm going to take that just along the edge of the tape and then into the crease. Now I'm going to use the same brush to go in with my second color, which is Orange You Fancy from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm using that just to blend out the edges inward and outward of Now I'm going to go in with the same brush and the third color, which is Fresh from the Anastasia Artist Palette, to further blend out those orange edges. Now I'm taking a shadow brush to pick up a color that's close to my skin skin tone and then finish blending the edges all the way into the eyelid and all the way up to the brow bone. Lastly, for the top eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with a red shadow. I'm using Love Plus from Sugar Pill and I'm going in just at the edge of this wing here and into this V just barely to add a little bit more depth. I'm going to do a quick once over with a clean fluffy blending brush in the crease just to make everything blend. Remove the tape. I'm going to line the bottom of the eye with Butter London Cheerio Eye Pencil. It's in bright yellow. The blending brush doesn't really work. This is a really stiff kind of dried out pencil. I got it at TJ Maxx, so it might be, a, it's a bit drier than if I were to have bought it when it was new. So um, I'm just using my finger to blend out. Doesn't matter if this is perfect because we're going to be putting glitter over it. I'm using Lit Clearly Liquid Glitter Base, and the glitter I'm going to use is Glitter Injections Miami Peach, which is a nice orange color. My, I'm using a small brush that comes with the Lit Kits to apply. I'm going to dip the brush into the glitter ever so slightly, get some glitter on the brush, and then apply to my eyes over the yellow highlighter that I just applied. Okay, now I'm going to apply black liquid eyeliner. I'm using Urban Decay 24-7 Liquid Eyeliner in Perversion. It is my favorite liquid eyeliner because it dries like a wet look. I'm just going to use the line that I already have to create the wing. Okay, now I'm going to do mascara and lashes, and I will be right back. Okay, I put on some lashes, and the lashes that I'm using are Eyelure number 145, and the mascara that I'm using is Too Faced Better Than Sex. For lips, I'm going to use a liquid, lips, liquid to matte lipstick and an eyeshadow combo. So the lipstick I'm using is Jeffree Star 714, which is a really nice um, pastel coral color. Okay, the shadow that I'm going to use over this lipstick to make it really pop is Urban Decay Fireball. 
which is a really beautiful orange with a pinky coppery shift to it and I really love it. I'm going to use a small concealer brush and just pat it all over the lips. Can you see the difference there from the top lip to the bottom lip? Now that I'm seeing the eye and the lip together, the lip is a lot more pink than the eyes. So what I've decided to do is add a couple of pink details to my eyes just to bring the eye, eyes and the lips together in a more cohesive look. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shadow that I used on my lips, the fireball, and put it on the inner corner of my eye. Next, I'm going to take the Jeffree Star lipstick that I used and I'm going to make a second line underneath my eyeliner. And how I'm going to do that is take a small detail brush and just get some of the product from the wand and then put it on my eyes, just like I would eyeliner. I'm extending this wing out a little bit further than the black upper wing. Now just to pull it all together, um, one last tiny detail is a third wing um, in the black color underneath that wing that I just made that's shorter than both wings. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions and if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll have all of the information on how to get in touch with me and more videos in the description down below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me. Bye.